Like, I'm I'm slick at alpha myself. You feel me? So like if a soft nigga, I'm gonna run right over you. Mm. Right. You feel me? So like. You tweeted, I want to say probably like a couple of days ago, that uh -huh. you finally got the man of your dreams. Yeah. So my Nose question to quote, you is, can't nobody take, can't nobody in the world take me from my man. No, do y'all talking about two separate? Tweets? Okay, break oh, it down. Okay. My well, bad. Well, I mean, that's oh, so you both, just they, tweeting away about this thing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they both sound, they both sound fairly serious. For so sure. my question to you is, what does this nigga of your dreams look like, and what all does he entail? For sure. Uh, you know, I'm not really into, like, physical, so it ain't really, like, look like. It's, like, more like act, like, think, like, move, like, for me. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's more like that. So, so what did you like a, you Ooh, like a, yeah, so a pretty like nigga, a... you like a gangster nigga, you like a, like, what, like, what, like, what floats your boat and what turns Mulatto on? Shout out to Gangsta though. She likes yeah, savages. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You can't just be soft as fuck. Yeah, she a gangster. You can't be man. soft. She's a whole gangster. Man. You know, okay. <laughs> She's you a can't gangster. Be soft, man. Cause like I'm, I'm slick at alpha myself. You feel me? So like, if a soft nigga, I'ma run right over you. Mm -hmm. Right. You feel me? So like, oh okay. You can't like. Don't put your hands on me, cause you know the internet gon' they gonna take shit and twist it, whatever. I ain't what saying mean? put your hands on on me, but I'm saying just don't let me run all over you. Like, you know what I'm saying? A boss nigga, because I'm a boss bitch. Like, no, no, like, no physical abuse, but maybe a little choke, choke. They choke got you tired. No. A couple of <laughs> like that, like. <laughs> I seen on the block, they say, goddamn, what the little nigga name? What the young nigga name? Um, Who that? Oh, Key, Key Glock. Glock. T, yeah, Key Glock. No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. What did they say about Key Glock? Yeah, she gonna fuck with Atlanta nigga. Nah. Oh, they were saying this. You gonna fuck with Atlanta nigga? Y'all, what? Why to... you just get quiet like that? I'm just saying, why you won't fuck with Atlanta nigga, though? No, I ain't saying I, I ain't going to. I'm saying maybe I, I think don't. that's what you need. You I think, think you so? need an Atlanta nigga. Like, I like my nigga. Nigga out to six. Straight up. Can we get a big face exclusive and let them know who you dating? Nah, you see, you know what I'm saying? Like, my life be so public, like, shit that I can keep low-key, I'm going to keep it low-key. I can respect that. Mm. Fuck all that. Yeah, because <laughs> it preserved. Like, this ain't no, like... Clearly, I ain't in the blogs and shit like fucking PR but listen, ass relationship. You are glowing. You are glowing. This guy yeah. got you glowing. For sure. Yeah. So but I'm happy sure. behind closed doors. I don't it's, want everybody in my business fucking that shit up. Cause this ain't no PR ass relationship. This ain't no. But we can confirm that it's not. It, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not Key Glock. No. Okay. But the thing about it is, the situation that you're saying is at hand is so solid. I can tell that it's solid. It's yeah. time to let the world know so they can be expired from this shit. Nah. <laughs> nah. I ain't saying I'm never going to tell the world, but like, yeah, she not bucking, right but now. She bucking. <laughs> she oh, bucking, bucking on that. I'd buck on it, too, if I was fucking with him. Who, who? He's a real nigga. Straight up. Y'all crazy. <laughs> who, is it? Is it somebody? Because I'm clueless. Is it somebody in or outside of the industry? Um, they in the industry. Okay. That's yeah. it. I'm ready for you good. Where they taught y'all that shit at? Shit, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, you trying to shine? <laughs> <laughs> Where they taught y'all that goddamn be the good, be the trainer? Nobody taught me this. Be the trainer, boy. You Nobody good. taught me this. You good. No. Big Lotto. Stop. She like that shit <laughs> in the street. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dead ass Don't serious. Say a like, I'm happy thing. behind closed doors, I'm, and for I want to keep it like that. Nah, you solid, though, for that. Hey, yeah, yeah. I fuck with that. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Why they been riding you so hard on social media about your name? That's what I want to talk to you about. You know what? I think it's just like misinterpretation, miscommunication, just like not understanding me and my intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mm. feel like my intentions was to never, like, they take mulatto as me thinking that's like a personality trait. I wake up and be like, I'm mixed. Before I even brush my teeth, I be like, bitch, I'm mixed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They take it as that, and that's not what that means. So, I'm in the process right now of like, you know, I feel like if your intentions not being interpreted the right way, I feel like that that means go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so, it's, it's been like a lot of mm -hmm. recently, a lot of like discussion about like colorism and stuff right. in the music industry, especially right. with the Danny Lay situation mm -hmm. and the light skinned girl song that she had mm -hmm. and like one all thing, that kind of stuff. One so thing like, about it, them folks wouldn't give a fuck what color you said you were if you weren't popping. 
For sure. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. So yeah. I mean, yeah. That. I mean, I ain't tripping off of the controversy, or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, being sensitive to the to the subject matter and like times we in right now, I feel like I would be like careless to not consider the people' opinion on that. Cause like I'm saying, they how they interpret it. Interpreting it is not my intention. So. What is it though? Like, so are you? They think are you... like I'm saying, like I'm bragging about being mulatto, being mixed, or like I think it's a personality but trait. Or, why you can't you know embrace that? it though? Like, what's the problem with that though? I don't know. I feel like it's just they think they we got two different um, outlooks on it. Like for me, it was just me saying like shit. It's kind of like that's my name. I am who I am. That's a part of me type shit. But they taking it as like. But Literally, I think it's I more so like, like uh, I'm mixed, bitch. I'm better than you, and that's not it. That's not the case. So I feel like at that point, that mean I need to like circle back and be like, okay, maybe I need to change this shit. But so you are considering you are considering yeah. changing the name. Yeah. For sure. So what? Yeah, as in, it's gonna happen, <laughs> or keep trying to do <laughs> what? <laughs> shit, I'm saying too I, much. I already got what I want to change it to, and I know when I want to change it. But people need to understand too. This ain't no like overnight shit like at a point in my career for for a name change at this point in my career that's a big step Fact. You know what I'm so shit they gotta at the same time where i'm listening to them they gotta listen to me and be like damn that is a big step at this time because you got labels involved investors management uh pr like it's so much shit that go into it it's like that's a big that's a big step for me to even consider changing. Why, like, why I'm building why, a brand why, from why, scratch yeah, I've been why not since I was what i'm saying I, so I, you I, think I, I, go ahead go ahead so you think you changing it because you just respecting what they talking about, or you changing because you being pressured? Nah, I, I really like listen because at first I was like, hell no, nah. like I got songs saying, uh, what did I say in No Hook? I was like, um, fuck, fuck, if you don't, if you don't understand the name change type shit, like you could die slow. But like me, the the more mature me, listening to people and just being like, shit, if that's not my intentions, why not be open to changing it? Cause I don't, I don't want nobody to think I, I cherish. Like I wake up in the morning to be like, bitch, I'm mixed. <laughs> like hell no. Nah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't well, think you should change it. The big deal I, is. I don't think it, I don't think you should change. I think. And then I think, just being sensitive to the to the to the time the that we in. You know what I get I'm saying? That. Like, so what is like a, it's like a define mulatto for no, him. No, like, no, no, define mulatto. Someone okay, so define. Boom. So mulatto itself is a derogatory term. So like it was nigga. like a right. It's a racial slur to mix people that white people pinned on mixed people back in the day whatever like it's a whole bunch of different shit they say that it means something with a, a, a donkey and a mule they say um and it was another so derogatory many. term towards like the females because a lot of mixed females were like house niggas that had sex with the master right and came out you know light skin and then yeah. another way that people took it like back in the day is that the light skinned women back then got like more sexual attention mm -hmm. from other black men mm. and other white men and right. kind of were whores, sort of. Yeah. And it was just it was just like so a they, whole big thing. So they think I'm just like further like uh dividing the black community and that's not my intention. So at that point I feel like man, I got it. fuck off. No, I don't I don't agree with that though. I don't I even know. Like, I don't know. I it. guess I'm I'm just ignorant to the point of it because it don't yeah. seem like it seems like to me you making the shit look good, whatever it is. I feel yeah. like I feel like people yeah. put it, you know you. you no, get, I mean I ain't like I ain't like I don't know, so I'm yeah. ignorant to the shit, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I could be this is my first time even hearing this mm -hmm. word. I don't even know what it meant. On some real and then I shit. do want to clear yeah. this up. Like back in the day, I'm learning this shit as this shit has been my name because people bringing it to my attention. See, like, when I first named myself, my name was originally Miss Malak mm -hmm. back when I started rapping. Mm -hmm. I ain't know none of this. So, like, as it's being brought to my attention, I'm like, damn, this this, this not really something that I'm willing to, like, be like, yeah, this is my name, and I'm wearing this shit. Oh, you saying you start learning more as right. having the name. At first, I really just thought it it meant mixed, and it's just like, shit, that's, it, that's a description. Oh. But, but, yeah. but, but no matter what oh, okay. you change your name to because of the fan base you build and who you are, they still mm. don't call you mulatto. That's why yeah, I don't think sure. it's... I, like it'll always be attached to me because it's I'm 22. That shit been my name since eight years old. Mm. So it'll always be attached. But like the more like aware, um, socially like read the room. They be telling me read the room. Mm. Socially aware, me would be like, okay, let me let me formally call myself this. Whether or not y'all attach this to this, that that that's on y'all. But I'm gonna formally attach myself to what I'm gonna change it to. You saying you change it basically because they kind of got to you. Like you basically see their point. Yeah, I feel like I see that point. 
You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I feel well, like I can respect be, that. Then. Yeah. No, I'm and saying, nobody bullying forced. me yeah, out yeah, of yeah. shit. Don't force nobody to do bullying nothing. me out of shit. <laughs> <laughs> nobody bullying me out of shit. But yeah, no, I feel like it's sliding. like. Mm-hmm. Uh, this man, you lying about yours? Like. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, big fact. Let's go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so if they if they ain't critiquing the homie about uh, the name change, then they critiquing your lyrics, saying your lyrics mm-hmm. is too sexually charged yeah. and this and that yeah. and the third. So what's your take on all that? Shit, I rap it how I live it. Hmm. She rap out. Yeah. She <laughs> woman moment. Woman moment. This shit, I be rapping about my fucking experiences, period. So if that shit just they too much for you, then baby, this this might not be the lyrics for you. This might not be the song for you. Exactly. Exactly. I can feel Everybody that. ain't gonna fuck with everything. Mm-hmm. Been cashing. I don't shit, man. I be on, you know, I probably on grand, man. You got yeah. all college shit. What you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> Big whips, big yeah. jury, yeah. big lotto. Yeah. 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 What you got? Going on? Crazy. I work hard. Put us down, hard. man. Put us down. I work hard and play hard. You deserve it, Queen. Man, you know bank so. hard. Ain't no <laughs> cap you out. You deserve it, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you look good doing that shit. For sure. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know real it. shit though, Bank. It. A lot of that shit, we were talking about the blessings because our heart right, man. Like even mm-hmm. the first time no, I, I met her. Oh, just yeah, right, because like, I saw where you um was it Christmas you bought your mom and your sister and cars? Sister car, yeah. mm-hmm. Like that shit was like the dopest shit ever to me. Yeah. And it was just like you could tell like in their faces and in their mm-hmm. reactions how deeply like they appreciated mm-hmm. that shit like for real, for real mm-hmm. from the heart. And that's like that's what makes the difference. Like mm-hmm. yeah. I can't in all wait to of see this one shit. One of my like, kids buy me a bus down. She about to <laughs> like, Y'all motherfuckers really ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> They talk about, like, watch damn, it. why I can't be a lot of little sisters? I say, y'all here, yeah. bro. Y'all yeah, here. Yeah. But no, on a serious tip, like, my family deserve it. Like, it's just me, my mama, my daddy, my sister. Mm. Like, I got exterior family, but, like, that, that family that in the core household, family. that core family, oh, I don't play about them. You think they having that whatever. having that family origin lifestyle got them mm-hmm. kept you stay focused on, like, being, sure. being a star? For sure. For sure. Like, keep me grounded to this day. Like, in the beginning, for sure. Cause I was trying to go to the skating rink on the weekends. My daddy like, nah, hell nah, you doing this um open mic, you doing this talent show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't understand it back then. I'm like, man, I want to go to the skating rink, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but she like the up. older I get, yeah. hell yeah, I'm living way way outside of the average um 22 year old. Cause so you started at what age? Eight. 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 Like. So were you always rapping since eight, or were you did you start off like singing and then it turned nah, into rap? No, I was rap always or? rapping. I was always rapping, and they tried to like they were like, "Man, you got to start singing." And I used to cry in the booth, like, "Man, I don't want to sing." Da, da, da. For real? Yeah, hell yeah. I nah, was always rapping. You did rapping. what you supposed to do. This is perfect timing. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Perfect timing. For sure. Real shit. You know, make a stronger tool for a person's buzz to go up during. 2020 in the pandemic like oh, you know what i'm saying like man, what, that shit couldn't have been easy yeah, you got your record deal during yeah. that too right yeah so yeah. I, I signed to rca in december on the low mm-hmm. december last year uh well last last year cool 2021 now 2019 i signed to rca in december on the low and then we was like building this whole like little rollout plan whatever and we announced it in march and then boom pandemic hit in april so mm. like it, we we was planning this whole rollout for three months, and we had to go back to the drawing table. So. Shit, that's everybody. Still got a still got a, still got a couple. I thought people. I was gonna yeah. goddamn <laughs> see Bill you. Gates. Hey, <laughs> 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 bullshit! That had so many plans. Yeah, yeah, like, we all yeah. did. Fuck, man, that shit that came out of nowhere like a cough. Yeah. Fucking yeah. niggas bankroll up. Yeah. So but now that you're there, what, what's going to suggest for sure? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like we we got creative as fuck. Like. I'm one of the ones that really popped off in 2020. So it's like, right. shout out to my team because they got creative. Because at first I was discouraged in a motherfucker. I'm like, bro, I just signed my first major record deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? I felt like everything was fucked up. But they was like, no, nah, we got it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Shout out to Brandon, man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> my dog. For sure. Brandon, RCA, everybody. Kayla, Derek, everybody on the team. Jay Graham, Marguerite. What's gonna What's gonna be the key of the formula to not falling off? You know what I'm saying, like that longevity and making sure that you're gonna keep getting money. That's on you. Keep... Like you can have the best team, best management, everything, but that's on you at the end of the day. What's your work ethic? Because everybody can be working for you, but if you ain't putting in that work, then it's like those are facts. Ain't shit going nowhere. You mm. gotta be. You gotta want it first, 
And then I feel like everybody work ethic go off of your work ethic. My team go crazy because they know I don't play that shit. I yeah. go crazy. I wake up and work all day. I won't sleep for three days straight for real. So you ain't work twelve years to start playing now. Huh? Yeah, on God. Real on shit. God. It's tough. On God. It's your overdrive. So I feel like yeah. shit. When you when you don't play, you they see your work ethic. Everybody gonna match you. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.